right, you guys, so it is the next morning, so we're just going to resume where we left off. Let's just go ahead and just get into it. It's super early in the morning right now, so just trying to get some things done and out the way. Definitely get this bathroom done and out the way. So, you guys saw how it looked yesterday. I showed you guys, and so I didn't do anything from there. So, um, I just cleaned up a little bit. That's about it, but now I'm about to start putting stuff in, the shelves and all that, the curtains, everything in the bathroom now so let's get to it oh yeah and if you have not watched the first part of this video make sure you go ahead and go back to my channel and watch part one of this diy makeover of this bathroom so that you guys can see the before how this bathroom looked and see what i have done up until this point and also if you have not subscribed to my channel already make sure you go ahead and subscribe like comment hit that notification bell before you get further into this video, now let's go ahead and get into it. Now I will be using this easy pill and stick wallpaper that I got from Walmart. It is the marble contact paper. I've used this contact paper before in one of my videos. It's one of my number one videos that's on my channel. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. I will either leave a link up top on this video or in the description box below. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. If you guys want to know what do I use to make sure I smooth the wallpaper out and things like that but these shelves definitely need something on them something to cover them up and what better way to do that is with this wall paper which is very inexpensive and very cheap because this wallpaper is like five six dollars gonna leave all the information you need in the description box below so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out and i really wish that these were removable shelves it would have made this process so much easier so this is how it looks once I finish the first shelf and now I'm going to go ahead and complete the next two shelves just give you guys a look at the difference yes it made a huge difference and so now I had already went ahead and cut out two more pieces for the next two shelves and I'm going to go ahead and complete the same process You guys see that right here that I am pulling up the pill and stick and that's because there's bubbles underneath and so if you have questions on what if I make a mistake is it easy to pull up yes it's easy to pull up and it's so sticky that it will stick when you want to put it back down so it's very very sticky but it is also very easy to pull up where it will not and it will not damage your surface area because i've used this on countertop and now i'm using it on this wood it is not damaging the wood at all and it did not damage my countertop when i use it on my countertop so definitely you guys try this out if you are interested if you're looking for a very inexpensive if you're on a budget um you need some wallpaper to cover up something that um, needs to be covered up and definitely check this out. I feel like you will not be disappointed. All right, so now I am getting ready to put a curtain over this area. Since there is no door for this closet area, I'm going to go ahead and just put a curtain over it.
about finished and this is the final look like um i still need to go buy rugs for over there and over here in front of the toilet uh, we can't really have a thick rug in front of um the sink because it's kind of hard for the door to close but when i next video i'm gonna paint this i thought i was gonna use some peeling stick over this but y'all the peeling stick was just it was difficult it was harder than y'all think so i said scrap the peeling stick and we're gonna paint this instead and so yeah this is the final look i got my pictures up let me know what you guys think. I know I'm gonna show you guys the before. Um, and you guys can see the difference. But yeah, this is it so far. I like it.